Hello and welcome to India 6.9, home of Sporty's Fly-In Store. Today we're going to talk about portable handheld radios. And much like you won't find an aircraft that's perfect for every mission, you won't find a radio that's perfect for every mission out there. And depending on what mission you have, we'll decide on which radio you choose. Here we have three of our most popular brands, Sporty's, Icom, and Yaesu. Obviously we're going to be a little biased towards the Sporty's radios because those are our babies. So let's start with the Sporty's radio. Uh, we have the SB400 and the PJ2Com. We like to think these are the ultimate backup radios. The SB400 is a full featured navigation and communication, has ILS, it uses eight alkaline batteries to give you maximum battery life. Same alkalines you find in, at Walmart or on the shelf at your store, easy to replace, you slide in a new battery pack. You just turn it on and go. There's no menus, no complexities. It's very simple. A headset adapter can be purchased to plug a headset into the very top. Now what we've seen as we've moved through the GPS era, instead of having a radio as a backup navigator, people are only using that for communication. Most of our backup navigators now today are little phones we carry in our pockets. So with that in mind, we have the PJ2 COM radio. This is many of the features of the SB400, but without the navigation. Uh, they've also added a nice jack here on the top to plug in a standard headset. And there's a Type-C port on the side for power. So in addition to using alkaline batteries, you can also use uh, USB to Type-C uh, battery bricks, uh, cigarette lighter cables, or even wall charger adapters. Again, very simple like the SP400. You just turn it on, type in the frequency, and go. No complex menus. These radios uh, start at 300 bucks and go to around 200 bucks. Are a great value, and it really is the ultimate backup radio for aviation. Icom makes a great radio. Some of their key features: uh, one thing they added this past year is Bluetooth. So now I can take my Bose A20 and Bluetooth the headset directly to this radio. Uh, they have impressive battery life with lithium-ion batteries. You'll get over 10 hours of life on a charge, even up to 16 hours sometimes. And um, they also have the max peak output out there for radios at 6 watts. Now even though they have the max peak output, we found that all these radios pretty much have the same output transmission power. Uh, in layman terms, on most days you're going to get anywhere from 8 to 15 miles out of a handheld radio. On good days you might get up to 20 miles, but they all have pretty much the same range. ICOM is a little more difficult to program than the SP400 and the PJ2, but not too difficult. I like to call these the airport bum radios. If you're hanging around the airport a lot, listen to ATIS, CTAF. Our linemen love these things. They can clip them to their vest and always have a radio going. They do require a headset adapter that plugs into the side of the radio. Uh, note that their smallest radio, the A16, has little screws on it. That you have to unscrew that uh, cover before you plug in your headset adapter, which might not be ideal in a backup situation in the airplane. Last but certainly not least is the Yesu line of radios. They have a small guy, which is a com only, and then they have the Yesu 550 up to the 750. Yesu is a little more complex than the other radios. They also have the thickest manual in all the radios, and, and good reason. There's a lot of features in them, but it takes a little while to learn all those features. So they start up at the com only radio, uh, turn on, type in the frequency and go. Pretty simple. Notice that each one of these does have a battery or a, uh, a cover on the headset adapter. So you are going to have to have some sort of screwdriver or coin to undo that cover before you plug in the proprietary headset adapter from Yesu. One of the good features about Yesu is these radios, for the most part, include all the accessories. So this headset adapter is included with the radio. You don't have to buy it additionally. Uh, their 550 series is a great radio that's probably their best selling out of the whole line. And they start at around $200 and if you look at the 750 it goes all the way up to about $400. It is a full featured navigation communication radio. The 550 can do a localizer. The 750 also has the ILS on it. Uh, one of the neat features here on the 750 is GPS capability. Now this is not like the GPS I have in my pocket. This nice iPhone GPS that draws a magenta line. This is a waypoint navigator. So think back in the days of when we had Latin longs, I could put a waypoint in there and then navigate to that waypoint. You'll find that technology both in the 750 as well as the ICOM uh, A25N. 
So the Yesu, the center of the bullseye for this uh, radio line is more the tech savvy guys. Uh, the ham radio operators love the ra Yesu radios. Uh, the ultimate backup radio, sporties. The airport bum radio, icon. We saw a lot of all these radios. One thing to keep in mind is sporties, we have the test flight guarantee. If you buy one radio, fly with it for 30 days, you don't like it, send it back, try a different one out. We don't sell all the radios out there. We only sell the ones that we actually fly with. But that's the, the basics on uh, handheld radios here at Sporties. Like us here on the YouTube channel and subscribe to us. And if you have any questions, check us out online at sporties.com.